Jones backstage at June Jam here in Fort Payne, Alabama with the one and only legendary, iconic Mr. Lee Greenwood. Thank you for hanging out with us backstage today. You're welcome. Great to be here. Welcome again to the June Jam. This is our third or fourth time in about 30 or 40 years. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that's crazy. Uh, they just brought it back. Uh, I think it was last year they brought it back, didn't they? Yeah, I'm uh, so proud to be on their tour again. Uh, and Oh, yeah, and I saw you had some dates with Alabama. I do. Yeah. Yes. It's like, and I told Randy the other day, it was like we're living the old days. For two and a half years, we toured nonstop, and it was crazy. I mean, they were the biggest act in the world. When you talk about the Beatles and how big they were, yeah. Alabama in this country was as big as the Beatles. Oh, man. Man, what's the crowd like in those arenas when you're when you're uh, there doing the shows? It's just like the old days. Uh, I could, of course, they show a lot of film of the old days. Yeah. I don't think I'm in the film, by the way. That kind of bothers <laughs> me. I need to be in some of the film. <laughs> but it shows the old and the frenzy and the fans and how much they loved Alabama. Yeah. So it's, it's oh, going to be cool. that today. Too. Oh, yeah, it will be. We're excited. 40th anniversary. God bless the USA. Incredible. Do, do you still, are, are you being that big of a song because it is iconic with not just country but all music genres people know that song do you ever get numb to the fact that it's one of those songs that just makes you feel every time i hear it and i grew up listening to it i still get it i still feel that a deep emotion and you it connects i think the fans are, are exactly what you just said yeah usa has been an interesting transition for me because as a single uh, it wasn't really meant to be a career record, yeah. and uh, the fans loved it, but it wasn't a number one song. Then it became CMA Song of the Year in 1985, that's yeah. right before you were born. <laughs> and then, and then of course, the Gulf War, the attack on America. Yeah. Uh, I've sang for 10 presidents. Oh, yeah. It has an interesting uh, journey because kids grew up with it, and now they, uh, as parents, are teaching their kids. Oh, man. And so USA, 40 years Universal is making a brand new vinyl record, Red, White, and Blue, of American Patriot. It'll be out here shortly. Oh, that's awesome. Man, I, I love that vinyl is making a comeback. Yeah, that's what my kid said. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, something else I want to touch on I didn't even know about is the uh, Soldier, is it Soldier Valley uh, Spirits. That is awesome. I'm a big fan of, like, good uh, upscale bourbons and whiskeys, and that, you got the whole picture, the whole design of the labels, I, I was blown away. Yeah, it's called Soldier Valley, and it's from Omaha, Nebraska. It is a bourbon, whiskey, vodka, rum. It's in a World War II-looking container in glass. Yeah. And uh, I'm just proud to be with it. It's a veteran organization. They give away, they give profit to veteran organizations across America. That's incredible. So look for the signature bourbon whiskey from Soldier Valley out of Omaha. Oh, Omaha. Yep, that's awesome, man. Uh, and one of the coolest things for me, uh, I love – uh, turning on the news, uh, seeing your your song is played a lot uh, with uh, like President Trump, I, his walkout song. Do you? I mean, to me, if I knew if I wrote a song that you know he was walking out to, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Well, I've sang for ten different presidents. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I go all the way back to the Reagan days, but. Oh, wow. Cool that is. When I'm able to sing live for the president uh -huh. and introduce him, and I've done that several times uh, in this. Uh, it don't get old, does it? No, it doesn't. And, you know, when you're in the presence of the, what I believe is the leader of the free world, uh, it, it's an interesting place to be. Once they yeah. recognize who you are, yeah. there's not so much security at that point. Uh, once you're past the security line yeah. and you have a freedom just to walk and talk to the people who are there supporting right. his campaign or supporting mm -hmm. the president. Right. It's always fascinating. Oh, that's cool, man. That is a really cool thing. Thank you so much. I, I, I know you got to get the sound check. We can't wait to see you perform. It's my first time being at a Lee Greenwood show. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And so uh, everybody that I told I was coming to this today, we're so excited about, oh, man, I can't, you're going to get to meet Lee. I was like, oh, yeah. You know, with festivals all across this country, we do Jamboree in the Hills and, and many other mm -hmm. 20 or 30 buses like this. Yeah. The June Jam is, specs, is very special. We're going to be first on today, and we'll excite the crowd. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, Mr. Greenwood, thank you so much. All right, Brent. And uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, man. See you.